In today's LEGO Airport update we're adding the first airplanes, design the entire terminal and first of all start by finishing off the airfield itself. This is what the current progress looks like and this section right there is the only spot that's still empty and what I've decided to add right here is a small corner for private planes which of course means all the parking lots for the individual airplanes are going to be much much smaller than the main ones around the terminal. By now I think you all know the basic building technique I've used in this area right here and therefore let's quickly skip over that part. The only thing that was extremely difficult to build is that small sign right there. I tell you one thing, I'm never going to touch that again. This is one of my most illegal builds so far and the sign basically indicates that only airplanes with a maximum wingspan of 24 meters can enter this section right there. Then I've just finished off all the corners surrounding the airfield and with that finished it's now finally time to leave the airfield behind us and start with the terminal, something I was looking forward to for a really long time now because it's finally a new building and something modern which requires really new building techniques I've never used so far. What I've decided to use for the exterior facade is on the exterior inverted slopes, on the interior normal slopes and then glass panels on hinges which then allows me to tilt the entire thing to whichever angle I like and since the entire glass front is then connected to 12 studs in total it also is more than stable enough and having shown you the basic building technique I think it's time to start designing the exterior facade. The great thing about this way of building the terminal is that although the outline of the terminal is quite small we still have quite a few studs we go outwards towards the roof which then makes the entire building look much much larger than it actually is which is the best thing you could possibly have when having this limited space right here in the corner of my airport. In total I didn't use too many different pieces because as you can see I've only used quite large pieces with all the glass in front right there. For the interior this is for stabilization basically right now to then hold up the roof and it also looks good so these pillars in the middle don't just look good but they actually have a structural function when it comes to the building. And having now gained a basic idea of what the terminal is going to look like it's time to design the roof. First of all I took measurements of the entire thing. I initially wanted to divide the roof into two sections because I thought it might actually be a bit too long to be strong enough to hold together but I think having no part at all where I then need to connect the two roof parts actually makes it look much much better. And now first of all you know me by now I got rid of all the studs by covering everything up with tiles and then I still had about 1000 of these printed solar panel tiles. These one by four tiles remaining and I then decided to install all these solar panels on top of the roof which actually looks so much more interesting because otherwise well the entire thing would have been completely empty. This is now the other section of the roof I've prepared which then locks into place and is quite important actually for the second part of the roof which we've just built which is much much larger to now be held up by this smaller roof part I've just installed down below. The only disadvantage about this giant roof is that it's a bit wobbly on the edges which is of course due to the extreme size of the entire thing. This is now the first time you really get an idea of what the terminal is going to look like and what I really look forward to is what the interior is then going to be like because we have so much space on the inside and also with these glass fronts you can see directly inside but for now I'd say let's continue with the third part of today's update the airplanes and I was thinking so much about different sizes of airplanes and if I wanted to use as I'm doing it right now the big lego airplane molds and decided that for my scale this is probably the single best solution otherwise in order to get all the curves for the exterior well the entire airplane is going to be massively oversized in comparison to the airport and therefore I've decided to simply add tiny additions surrounding the big mold pieces right there at the rear for example I only had two by six studs to attach these wings but I think having in mind how limited I was due to me using these larger lego molds the airplane turned out quite nicely. This is now the main part. I spent time on designing the interior. I've completely designed all the individual chairs by myself, not used the Lego chair mold for example and although there is an unlimited space on the inside, I'm quite aware of that, I still managed to add a little bathroom at the very end and well there you can see these two connecting parts for the giant wing mold. These were all these limiting factors I was talking about when designing the airplane. But 
There you can see why I couldn't at all design larger airplanes because right there next to the terminal, having reduced the scale of the airplanes, it's still a bit too big. And therefore for the next airplanes, I think I'm going to design them even a tiny bit smaller. Also, another thing I definitely need to show you. If you can remember when we we're talking about the rubber abrasion on the runway, we all didn't like it too much back when I first added the brick build abrasion. But having now placed a landing plane right on top of the abrasion, I absolutely love how that looks. And now it actually becomes obvious to the viewer what this black thing down on the surface is actually supposed to be. Before I can now start designing the interior of the terminal, which is something I really look forward to because this is the single best building for interior design because of all the glass in front, you can see directly into the building, view all the different stories that are going on inside once I'm adding details, of course. But before that, we still have to figure out what the hell is going on with the vegetation. Last airport update, I asked you what you guys thought of the vegetation. And I think we all agreed on that this is a bit too much in the middle right here, which is why I now ordered more pieces for experimentation and I think first of all of course I'm going to remove this section this is still a bit too much maybe something we can work with but what I want to try out now is use these claw elements in green right there for some flatter grass I've never tried that before it could be a total flop but I'd say let's test it out Okay, now I'm really interested about what you guys think. My initial instinct when I had finished the first limp element was that this didn't look good, but then I started to cover up more and more space and then I started to like it. And especially from further away, this actually doesn't look too bad at all. If you compare it with this section right there, this is by far too high. And then having the direct comparison, I honestly prefer the left-hand side. What I could now of course do as well is mix up the different building techniques. For example, add a bit of dark green with this building technique in comparison to the flatter claws I've used in combination with the limb elements. And well, maybe this then is the building technique that is most suitable for covering up all this entire space around the airport. And another idea I just recently had is if we should maybe add another taxiway towards the very end of the runway, just like in Innsbruck, I recently went skiing and then I had this exact same idea because up on top from the mountain, you could really nicely see the airport and there just towards the other direction, of course, but you can perfectly see this long taxiway leading to the very end of the runway, which would be another possibility we have in the Lego city. Just another little fun idea I had regarding the airport and how we could potentially extend the entire thing. As always, if you have any suggestions or ideas, not only regarding the airport, but also the main Lego city, leave them down in the comment section below. Next week, since so many of you requested that, I'm going to upload a tour of the entire Lego city, the Wild West town, the moon base, and so on, all these different side projects going on besides the Lego city, of course, as well. Then I've also planned to film a POV train ride. So many more videos planned beside all the Lego city updates. And with that being said, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.